Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another media, and we are in the kitchen, and you already know what that means, right? It's a Cooking with Ash vlog, and has been forever since we have one of these cooking videos, and I'm so excited because she is making this special, I think it's garlic parmesan, is that what it is? Is that the one you're going to end up making? It's called Tuscan Sauce or something like that. I don't know. The Tuscan, to, yeah, that. So we are going to go to the kitchen and she is going to prepare it for us. Um, and it's going to be delicious. And she wants to share it with you all in case you guys want to get the recipe. Cooking with Ash! All right, guys, so I'm going to show you the ingredients. Um, I We're going to use chicken breast. So the video that I saw, she uses shrimp, but we're going to do chicken breast because I don't have shrimp. Also, as a side, I'm going to use this because we are doing, or I am doing keto. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do cauliflower risotto medley. For this, the sauce recipe, you're going to need heavy whipping cream, baby spinach, Parmesan cheese, butter, garlic, tomato paste, salt, pepper, mushrooms. Granted, if you don't like vegetables or you don't want the spinach or the mushrooms in your recipe, then obviously don't put it. <laughs> um, but we love mushrooms. Yeah, we like mushrooms and we're trying to incorporate more veggies. First, I'm going to start off with the chicken. I'm going to lightly season it. I'm going to butter the pan with, I'm gonna butter the pan and put a little bit of garlic in it. And I'm gonna lightly season the chicken with salt and pepper because mainly the main ingredient here really is the sauce. Being interrupted by Baby Blue drinking water. Now, where did we buy these chicken breasts? I completely forgot. I think it was. Oh, it was when Dixie. Yeah. Okay. So the, I think it comes with five little pouches of those, and I guess one breast comes in there. In each, yeah. It, it's we got this mainly because there was no chicken breast. Right. This was ew. It's so slimy. <laughs> this was basically everything. That's the chicken breast, guys. Yeah. And then look at this, more. look how tiny. I know, right? What a rip off. Like, good thing about these chicken breasts is that you really don't have much to take off. They're based, they're really clean. This is all I took off was little fat. Okay. okay. So it's easier. And it also, six. look at you and the new knife. What you? <laughs> I need salt in here. Uh oh. Ran out of salt. Yeah. I'm going to pour salt. There's really nothing coming out, babe. Oh, I'll get the refill. Alright, we got the salt. some pepper, a little bit of Italian seasoning. That's a new one. Now you massage the breasts. <laughs> That's what you're doing. I know. I'm, I'm uh, yeah. Blue. So I seasoned both sides and I spread it everything. Smushed them up. Yep. Yeah. Now I heated my pan. I put in like a number five. I kind of do everything on number five. And then once I see if I need to either up it or put it down. You play with it. Yeah. So we're going to butter up our pan. Butter it up. Ooh. And the good thing is zero carbs. Obviously we're not going to go crazy and like eat a lot of butter. Right. But the good thing is it is zero carbs. Zero carbs, guys. Zero. More. Put the whole thing. And zero carbs. Right, buddy? Zero carbs. It's zero carbs. Minced garlic. Oh, no. I love me some. I remember when I had COVID, I hated that. I know. It smelled weird. But now it smells amazing. Oh, it smells amazing, guys. I loved minced garlic. We're going to wait for this to heat up a little bit. Once this is heated up, we're gonna go ahead and add in our chicken. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of oil too as well. Yeah? yeah. Okay. You know what you're doing. Putting our red chicken in. Did you put oil? Yeah, I did. A okay. little bit of oil. The like a tiny smell right like now. Like this. Yeah, I literally want to just. Smells good, huh? That's not good. And I don't know if it's a garlic or if it's like what you season the chicken with or I don't know. What I am going to do is put a little bit of water. Oh, yes. 
the I water the just water. makes it cool down, relax. Yeah, because you want it to cook fully through. Um, I also am going to put the top on it when I find it. <laughs> Is this going in the oven? No. Oh. Oh, it smells so good. This is making me hungry. I haven't ate anything yet. You haven't ate anything yet. So, yeah, but this isn't for dinner. I know, that's why. I had to make myself something to eat. You're making me want to make myself something to eat right now. All right. Thank you. Oh, that was blue. You okay, buddy? Did you burp? All right, guys, so I took the chicken out. I put it over here. And now we're gonna go ahead and put some more butter. We're putting gu uh, butter and now, um, and some garlic again. It's good because we get to um, get all the flavor from the chicken that we just made. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be yummy. Oh, yes. So now I'm going to put in the mushrooms. You have this on? Oh yeah, you do have it on. It's just very low. Yeah, I can't even hear it. I just put it up now to three. Alrighty, stir, 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 stir. All right, so we are Adding a special ingredient you've never used before. Never. Oh, fail. You, it's still closed, right? Yeah, just. Fuck. Okay, we're ready now. So it's just to add. Don't know how much, but I'm gonna go with that amount. Mm. For now. Looks like paint. It's just, it's basically tomatoes. Like tomato, but it's tomato paste. Yeah. I'm gonna put a, a little bit more. I'm just eyeballing this because I really didn't see like ingredients. Like the, not ingredients, I'm sorry. The recipe? The amount. Okay. And I'm also going to put in heavy whipping cream. Mm, interesting. I know you think it's probably weird. It is. Right, Blue? Yeah. Oh, I think it's even more weird now. It's going to be great. This is how I make your pasta. The fettuccine? Yep. Alright guys, so I added some salt and some pepper. I like to taste along the way. Um, it's good to put salt and pepper, especially with heavy whipping cream, because heavy whipping cream doesn't really taste like anything. Right. So you need to definitely um, make sure you've got some seasoning in here. Okay. See what we're working with here? Okay. Now, my favorite Cheese. Part. Parmesan cheese. All right, we're gonna add in some Parmesan cheese. Wow, oh my cheese. gosh. The whole thing, right? No, look. Oh. It looked like a lot, but yeah, it did. I'm going to eyeball it. Um. This is gonna make it creamy, it gives it some saltiness, so don't put too much salt, because this does give the saltiness to it too. Right. Um, but it's gonna make the sauce a little bit creamier. You heard blue? Yes, creamier. And then one of the last things that we do um, is put the spinach, because the spinach gets really small, mm -hmm. and it cooks the fastest, so. Oh. We put the spinach. Oh, I remember in one of our videos that happened. What's the word I used? I don't remember. I have to go back to the video. Wilt. Wilt? It wilted. W it, it wilted. It, or it wilts very fast. Guys, I'm going to try the sauce now. See what the result is, right? Oh, not bad. I actually like that sauce. Mmm. Reminds me a little bit of the Alfredo that you do, but does it need anything? It, no, I mean I don't I don't think it does. Salt? No, I think with the chicken should be fine, but I need you to try so that you can determine if something's missing. So let us know. That's good. Yeah, I think it's in the right amount of, of like seasoning. Babe, that's fire. Yeah, and then with the chicken in there. Explosions. 
getting thick enough already. You don't want it to burn, which is why I'm mixing it so much. Hey. Okay, that is good. It's really good. Guys, that was fire. Now we're adding the spinach. Now we're gonna see the spinach shrink. It's already happening. Wilt! Wilt, sorry. All right, so it is wilting, wilting, and wilting. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more uh, whipping cream because my sauce looks like it's going away. <laughs> yeah, it does look like like less amount. Yeah, right? Actually, yeah. no, I think for the chicken, it should be fine. You see what you did? Your food made him want to eat. He finished his whole food. Alrighty, alrighty. It's just you see? pretty much done. Gone. Huh? Gone. Where did the, where did the spinach go? Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Chicken has been chilling right here. So, more spinach. Dropping it in the sauce. In the what? In the sauce. Are we gonna turn this back on? No. Oh, it's staying cold like that? It's, it's not cold. It, I didn't turn it off, it's on low. Oh, It's simmering. Hey. <laughs> like that? Do have it. Ah, All right, so it's time to see if it's good. Uh oh. What are the results? Very good. One through ten. What do you think? Oh, you went for a second one. It's good. Mm -hmm. Approved. Success. We did it, baby. We. Oui. We did it. Here. Let me try it. It is very hot, but. It's not that hot. It's not that hot. Oh! Liar. Okay. Mm. Is it too salty? No. It's creamy. Amazing. Good? It was really good. It reminds me of a lot of the pasta though. This with pasta probably is good. You want me to make pasta? <laughs> Eat it with rice. But it's really good, guys. Please use this recipe. Ash knows what she's doing. That was great. All right, guys. Well, that concludes today's Cooking with Ash. Amazing, phenomenal. Like always, I miss these videos because we get to try different things that she makes. And today she made that fire chicken. And I really, I highly suggest you guys to do it because that was great. And it's also keto friendly, right? All right, guys. So yeah, six carbs for that entire recipe, which is just the chicken with the sauce and stuff. Um, so it is keto friendly, which that is amazing and it's so good. The sauce with the chicken itself gave it like such a oh, flavor, like it was really good. The chicken itself by itself as well was also good, we did try it. Um, and then again the sauce by itself as well, but when you put those two together, it is the best. So, alright guys, so if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss our next media. All in all, we wish you guys a wonderful rest of your night. We wish you guys can stay, but now it's time for you guys to go. And we will see you guys on the next media. Bye.